Hi friends, welcome to Non-Functional Club. Today as a part of our Charles Proxy series, we'll be looking into two new models that is Map Local and Map Remote. So we'll be looking into demo of both these modules and get to know it in details. So let's begin. Before starting with the pointers that we have today, Map Local and Map Remote, we have already looked upon breakpoints, throttling, then the rewrite option, repeat and repeat advance option. So if you have not watched the videos on the same, please do watch because that would be a base point with respect to the topics which we are going to look today. So let's begin. Now in the last session itself, through rewrite, we were able to change many of the options from this particular section that is if you want to have the response changed for Pahadi, we had replaced with non-functional club that is NFC. So that setting also we might still have here. If we go to rewrite and yeah, if I enable rewrite here and I say, okay. And if we just launch the application so that the dashboard will be loaded. And here, if we click, for the newly loaded API. So previously, if you see it is Pahadi, in the new section, we are saying it is, seeing it is NFC. So all the Pahadi text is replaced by NFC. So this is one method of doing it, right? If I want to change this, or if I want to do it using a local response, which is saved in my system. So that can be achieved through the pointer, which we are going to look today, that is map local. So how can we achieve that? For that, I'll first disable this. Now I have to do the same changes which I have done here. And that was I have to replace the Pahadi from response which I am getting in the new home page load API. So I'll even open my mobile application for us to check it thoroughly. So as per as my screen is visible here now. Let's see first how we can initiate with respect to our local map local module here what we will do we will try to save this particular api first okay so we'll just right click and we'll say save response when we click on save response it will navigate to some folder and there we can save it so i'll just click on save here once you save this what will be the next step so for that we'll have to go to tools and we'll have to click on map local. We'll just go through the options which we have here. So I'll click on enable map local and we will add just as we did for the rewrite section, same options we have to add it here also. So in our case, again, if you want to check how the options are mapped or how the options are present, if you go to request section and here, if we go to headers, so through headers also, we'll get a lot of information also through the raw data you will get the information so here if you see your post is containing of this particular link your host so see what all information is required i'll just again make make a note of that first so the entries which we need i have just taken it over here we will need the protocol then the host port and path so let's just again navigate to our map local section and here if we enable the map local and we'll add so here again it is asking the same so i'll click on protocol that is http next pointer which we want is host i'll just copy this we'll give the host here the port already again we have 80 so that also we'll give and the path so path also we have captured And we'll get the path here. Now it is asking us the local path from where it wants the JSON, which will be mapped as a local mapping for this particular API. So again, I'll choose the file. We just saved it. So I'll double click on it. Or if we double, double click, yeah, this will be saved here. And I'll say, okay. And here also we'll click on, okay. Now all the options like see host, we have it over here then the path or the post api like which path from where the api api is run that also we have we have it here 
so all this is captured or we can just take it from here with respect to overview if you just click on overview and you want to highlight the port from which you know this particular api is hitting so this is the port after the ip so this also you can have now what we are going to achieve using the local map so what all response we are getting here that is nfc which we had achieved using rewrite functionality same we are going to try and achieve using local mapping of a file now let's run the api again for that i'll just clear my application once so that our dashboard will be launched again and let's do one thing even we'll clear this because it is a lot of mess right now yeah now if i open and we'll just go to the api if you see this particular api the icon for this api is also changed okay so the icon is something like file if you go to request in the overview section if you go you will see mapped to local file this is the path from where it has picked up the file and again in the response you will see everything has been changed as it was present in our json file which we have mapped it to this particular api so any every time you load this api again if i just you know cancel it out and again if i try to load it you will see again the api has been loaded with this particular changes which are all associated in the json if we just go to the party serials here also you will see that particular nfc is present so that this api is totally mapped and all the changes are integrated in the application as well when the api was got called using the local mapping so if the local mapping has been associated or not that also you can get it from here so this is how you can you know place your local mapping you can make all the changes which you want in the response body you can save it in some local file and then you can just relate it with the api using the map local option and then the things will be processed next option which we have is map remote i'll just close this out for now if you go to map remote option here also again if i'll just enable and i'll double click on it as i have already saved the things because again it is a repetitive stuff here also you'll have all the options same which we had clicked that is http the host will be mountain basket dot in port and the path that is again our new home page and what we map to here so here you can map it to some other remote site and that remote site will be accessing this particular path let's see first how this goes and then we will look into in details about it so now i have enabled map remote and again i'll perform the same option action that is i'll relaunch my application so once i relaunch you will see that first of all my obviously my dashboard has not loaded and next is if you go to google because i have launched or mapped my particular api through google you can see here my mobile api user new home page was called using the google site or the remote host which i have mapped with here again if you go to my map remote if i now open it now you will see here i have given the host as google.com and https so what i am saying is i want this particular path to be run or to be mapped to a particular remote site and that for example i have just added google.com in your case if you feel that there are certain other apis through which internally your api can get called and there would be other data which will be fetched from the system you can definitely add that to the remote mapping and that can also be used as a part of your api testing or as a part of your proxying to the api which you are using so this is what we have or this is what or how we can use map remote and your map local option so that was about map local and map remote option in details stay tuned for next modules of charles proxy don't forget to subscribe non functional club channel hope this session was useful thank you